The DOT is ordered to pay nearly $600 million to hundreds of people for their properties in Winston-Salem. How some have been waiting decades to get paid in 90 seconds. Colbert's all new with Gail King, tonight on The Late Show. This Thursday, if you think giving up booze is hard, try giving up the internet. No Facebook, no Twitter. My 36 followers are probably worried sick about me. A new mom. Then pull up a chair to the life in pieces Thanksgiving. Looks like it's carving time. <laughs> it's all new CBS Thanksgiving Thursday. Relief for hundreds of homeowners. A court orders the state to pay out hundreds of millions of dollars for land already in its possession. The department took their property and they're owed just compensation. And is your smartphone spying on you? She wants to know verifies if it can happen and if there's anything you can do to stop it. A simple phrase is gaining attention around the world. How a triad teen's thank you Jesus movement helps people in need. Plus holiday tipping during the season of giving. She wants to know who should get a tip and how much. WFMY News 2 at 11 starts right now. The North Carolina Department of Transportation ordered to pay potentially hundreds of millions of dollars to homeowners in the triad. The decision today says enough, pay these people without further delay. And, and those are exact words, without further delay. The state's Court of Appeals made the ruling today. In Guilford and Forsyth counties alone, more than 300 landowners sued the state DOT for not paying them after taking their property for the future Beltway. The lawsuit was filed almost eight years ago. Now a judge wants the DOT to pay up. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty has more on the ruling and how some have been waiting a long time to get their money. Well, Julie and Chad, here's a map around Winston-Salem showing what will be the future Northern Beltway. Back when this was first envisioned years ago, the DOT went ahead and took hundreds of properties to make it happen. Problem is, they never paid the property owners. You know, almost 10 years now that we've lived without being able to sell our house. Paula Smith found that out when a realtor told her the land was in the pathway of an NCDOT future road project, the Beltway. From her house down, homes on the street would eventually be torn down. But even though her property was in the state's possession, she's never seen a nickel. We all knew it was wrong. We knew what the state was doing was wrong, but we didn't realize it was there, there was a word for it, inverse condemnation. So that was kind of nice that we had a word and we had a way to fight it. Attorney Matthew Bryant represented Smith. These people need to be paid. And the 300 plus landowners fighting for payment since 2010. The 34 mile project was $294 million of real estate values in this county that were stolen by the Department of Transportation. They just took them and we're gonna pay for them when they felt like they would pay for them. On Tuesday, the state's Court of Appeals ruled in favor of the landowners, saying the Department of Transportation must pay them for what they took, plus interest. The Department of Transportation can't dodge the bullets anymore. Just because it's expensive, you can't delay it. Now, the DOJ, who represented the state, said it was reviewing the decision and would work with NCDOT on how to move forward. 
Tomorrow is one of the busiest travel days of the year. The DOT has put a hold on most road and lane closures on major highways to make travel easier. The suspension will last until next Monday. Yeah, but expect a higher bill to fill up. Thanksgiving gas prices are the highest they've been in three years. According to AAA, the average triad price for regular about 240 a gallon, 35 cents higher than last year. There are more people traveling. So, you know, gas prices tend to float up. I don't know of any particular one giant reason this year where there usually is some sort of a cause. AAA projects nearly one and a half million North Carolinians will travel 50 miles or more from home over the five day period that begins tomorrow. But here's some good news. If you're traveling tomorrow, the weather looks great. And Tim, some rain moving out tonight, and then we are in the clear. Yeah, you know, usually we have something to track of concern on that busy Wednesday into Thanksgiving Day itself. Right now, that's really not going to be the case. That storm system is happening as we speak, and it's really not much of one. A little bit more steady rain happening along the Carolina coasts, but here at home, just a couple of spotty showers. They're with us right now. Maybe you've seen a little bit of a sprinkle. Maybe you'll get one in the next few hours, but this is all temporary. You can see the scattered rain picture right now over Guilford, Rockingham, Stokes, and Surrey, and Forsyth counties. I'll let you show you the future cast picture. This is 2 a.m., so just a few short hours from now. The back edge of the system already here. There's 5 in the morning nothing doing. We are clearing things out. So by 8 a.m. the sun is out, the roads are dry, and you are good to go. Just hope the traffic isn't all that bad wherever you might be headed near or far. 40s for the morning. It's not even that cold tomorrow to start out. We'll be a little warmer for the afternoon getting into the upper 50s. Sunshine all day long. That's the good news. We'll talk about the rest of the eastern seaboard and the eastern United States coming up. Your smartphone is like an extension of your body, and the day you leave it behind, oh, you feel lost. You can do everything on your smartphone, but it can do a whole lot more. It can follow your movements and store sensitive information, but could it spy on your conversations? Two wants to know is Moyes verifies if that can actually happen, and what, if anything, can be done to stop it? Is my phone eavesdropping on me? It's a question many of you might ask after you get an ad on Facebook for something you never searched for, but just talked about near your phone. Who wants to know? Put it to the test. Your smartphone rarely leaves your side, is almost always connected to the internet, and it has microphones. One thing that I think a lot of consumers don't necessarily realize is that phones are really snitches in their pockets. Sean Lanterman is a tech whiz. You can be having a conversation and, and you have an application that has a microphone capability. And next thing you know, you're being advertised as to what your conversation was about. I wanted to test if this was true, so my colleague Patrick and I had a simple conversation with my phone in my hand. We started talking about what we planned to bring to our station's Thanksgiving potluck. I told Patrick I asked my boyfriend for help earlier in the day. And he suggested lemon bars, which are really good, but he was saying that I need a mixer for that, which I don't have. After a few minutes, I let Patrick in on what I was doing. I used you. I used you for an experiment. Yeah. But how long would it take for an ad to show up on Facebook? Turns out less than 15 minutes. All right, I see an ad here for eBay Black Friday shopping. What are they advertising? Mixers. No, remember what I said in the conversation? <gasps> Yes. For the lemon bars that I need a mixer? While your phone is always transmitting, it's always phoning home, it's always, it's always connected to the internet. But if your phone is eavesdropping on you, it's not reporting to a human, it's talking to other machines. An automated process, it's not someone on the other end reading it. It's, it's computers that have advanced algorithms that are deciphering what, what it means. So yes, we can verify it's happening, it's just hard to pinpoint who or what's behind it. Google does use things you say to Google Assistant to route ads your way, but the company denies spying, saying, we only process speech after the hot word, OK Google, is detected. Facebook denies eavesdropping, saying Facebook does not use your phone's microphone to inform ads or change what you see in news feeds. I think consumers just need to be wary of the agreements that they're entering when they're using any piece of technology. 
So yes, it is verified. So everyone wants to know, how do you prevent this from happening? Well, there is a way to do it, and I'm going to walk you through it. But the best thing I suggest for you to do is turn your microphone access off. Here's how to do it on an iPhone, but the process is the same for Android. Go to Settings, Privacy, Microphone, and see what apps have access to your mic. There, you can turn off microphone access. Rideshare app Uber admits it exposed accounts of 57 million users and even tried to cover it up. That includes customers and drivers, their names, addresses, phone numbers, and email addresses. The breach also exposed the driver license and other information for roughly 7 million Uber drivers. So here's the good news. It did not expose social security, credit card, or bank account numbers, birth dates, or trip location data. Uber CEO said the company failed to tell users in a timely manner and said they're investigating. Some sad news to pass along from Hollywood. Former 70s teen idol David Cassidy has died. His publicist said he was in ICU in Florida suffering from organ failure before he died surrounded by his family today. Cassidy played the role of Keith Partridge in the musical sitcom The Partridge Family. He toured the world to sing hits from the show such as the number one song I Think I Love You. David Cassidy was 67 years old. President Donald Trump commented on Senate candidate Roy Moore today. You remember several women have accused the Alabama Republican of sexual misconduct, some dating back decades. Republican leaders from both the House and Senate have called on Moore to drop out of the race, but President Trump didn't go that far. Roy Moore denies it. That's all I can say. He denies it. And, and by the way, he totally denies it. I can tell you one thing for sure. We don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat. President Trump says he'll announce next week whether he plans to campaign for more. The man who directed movies like Toy Story and Cars is taking a six-month leave of absence, citing missteps with employees. Pixar co-founder and Walt Disney Animation chief John Lasseter says he knows he's made some employees feel disrespected and uncomfortable. He apologized to anyone who's received an unwanted hug or gesture and to those he's let down. Three new women have come forward accusing Charlie Rose of sexual misconduct. Today, CBS News fired the co-host a day after the Washington Post published claims from eight women. PBS also announced it has, is canceling the Charlie Rose show. Rose's former co-host, Gail King, will be on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert following tonight's newscast. A warning for parents tonight, IKEA is once again announcing the recall of millions of dressers after the death of an eighth child. When not anchored to a wall, the dressers can tip over and hurt small children. They're no longer being sold by IKEA, but millions remain in homes unsecure. IKEA is offering full refunds, but if you do want to keep the dresser, you're urged to call the store for a free wall anchoring kit. IKEA is even offering to send crews to your home to secure the dresser for you. It's a surprise, but it, I mean, uh, it's, it's awesome. Lucas, what started as a triad teenager's way of spreading love has turned into a global movement. Lucas Hunt from Ashboro has sold more than 100,000 Thank You Jesus signs. They can now be found in all 50 states and more than 10 countries. WFMY News 2's Ben Powell talked to the teenager about his major milestone and he says he is not done yet. And take a look, you've probably seen signs like this when you're out driving around and you are seeing them often and all around, all over the place. Even at Crestview Wesleyan Church in Ashboro, the pastor there has started a whole sermon series on the one simple phrase, thank you Jesus. The teen who created this movement says he didn't do it for money or fame, he just wanted to spread thanks. For me, it's just about getting the name of Jesus out there. You know, I wanted to do something uh, and minister to other people, and this was my way of doing that. It was never about making money. It was never about, you know, anything like that. And so just being able to share Jesus with someone else or, or you know, share Jesus again with other believers has, has been a big deal to me. Lucas Hunt created the first sign a year and a half ago when he was just 15 years old. He wanted to sell 500 signs, and now he's up to 100,000. They also sell Thank You Jesus magnets and yard flags. All the money goes to help rural churches and nonprofits. Lucas says the whole journey has been a life-changing experience. I've never met so many nice people through this. You know, my family, we've met 
uh, other believers uh, almost on a daily basis when it first started and now you know we still meet them and speak with them and it's been a big deal to be able to talk and see how you know God's been working in their lives and to, to different people the sign means different things so there's always a story behind every sign. And we asked Lucas now that he sold 100,000 signed, what's his next goal? 500,000, maybe a million? Well, of course, he was excited about the thought and wants to keep it going as long as he can, but says he's leaving it in God's hands. Now, if you'd like to buy one of his signs, Hunt sells them online for $8. We've linked you to his website in this story on WFMYNews2.com. The holidays are a time for family and reflection, and that also goes for professional athletes. Patrick Panthers quarterback Cam Newton is taking some time to reflect before Thanksgiving. Yeah, Cam Newton says he wasn't so sure about posting this photo to Instagram today. It's his mug shot from nine years ago on this very day. Now, the quarterback was arrested for stealing a laptop and says on that day he vowed to learn and grow from his situation. Now, it looks like he's doing his best to keep that promise. Last night, Newton hosted 800 children for Thanksgiving dinner down in Charlotte. It's his fifth year hosting this event, and he loves doing it. It's never, you know, enough things that you can do, you know, for our community. So, you know, the nights like tonight are important to me and will forever be important. Newton isn't the only player giving back. His teammate Thomas Davis hosted his ninth Thanksgiving dinner for women and children tonight down in Charlotte. And just in time for Thanksgiving, all trails at Chimney Rock State Park are reopening. Rain last month washed out a retaining wall at the park, causing a section of the parking lot to collapse. Some of the debris washed to the roadway below, and it took crews weeks to fix the parking lot. The heavy flooding came around the same time a tornado touched down in Wilkes County. If you don't feel like cooking a big Thanksgiving dinner this year, no need to fear. There are other options. Cracker Barrel, Golden Corral, and KW will all be open some other places too. We put together a list of some of the restaurants that will be open on Thanksgiving Day and some of the specials they're offering on our website, WFMYNews2.com. If you are cooking at home, the turkey should already be out of the freezer. If it's large, you should have put it in the refrigerator days ago, but you can still thaw it in cold water. A large turkey needs 10 to 12 hours in a cold water bath. A smaller turkey, six to eight hours. And if you're really in desperate need of help, you can talk to a Butterball expert for advice. Butterball has been helping people cook the perfect bird with its hotline since 1981. The number to call is 1-800-BUTTERBALL. From the turkey to the ham, if you've driven by Honey Baked Ham in Greensboro recently, you've seen the long lines. And we were there earlier today as people lined up at the store on Battleground Avenue to pick up their hams for their Thanksgiving feast. Yeah, parking can be half the battle, but Greensboro police were there helping make certain everyone got in and out safely. And we're about to hit the height of the holiday shopping season, but a few people might be missing from your gift list. Yeah, Ben Thompson with our Charlotte sister station has this reminder. Tis the season. Is there such thing as holiday tipping? Absolutely. Only problem, experts say a lot of us aren't doing it. Amy Symington is a local etiquette expert who has clients around the world. People either they don't realize that they need to do it or they are just intimidated. They don't know how much to tip during the holidays and who they should tip. So who should you tip? Amy says anybody who provides you a regular service. We're talking garbage collector, your kid's teacher, bus driver, hairstylist, dog walker, even your favorite barista. But that quickly becomes a long, expensive list. How do you draw the line of knowing, yes, for sure, that person? That person, eh, maybe not. Well, I guess it all depends on how much you count on their service, how much you appreciate them, and how much extra resources you have to be able to, to tip all of these people in your life. Still don't know? Well, Amy says then tip the people who you think will appreciate it the most. If you can also attach a note, being specific about what you appreciate that they do for you, that's always nice. And while she says cash and gift cards are always the best bet, if you're cash strapped this Christmas, give anything. Cookies, wine, something. After all, it's not really about tipping, it's about saying thank you. And it's about appreciation, and it's a good reminder, I do need to add some people <laughs> to my Christmas list. Absolutely. Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at Fort Bragg. A 23-foot Christmas tree, oh, it arrived today. Soldiers and volunteers helped to set it up. The official tree lighting ceremony is on the 30th.
And we can't tell you if it'll be a white Christmas this year, but you will notice something a little different the next time it does snow in Greensboro. Before they hit the pavement to clear the snow, the blades of some of the city's snow plow trucks got a makeover. Take a look. The city teamed up with Guilford County Schools to let art students give the trucks some color. Wow. No snow needed for plows. No, 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 no <laughs> plows right now. Thanksgiving. Oh, Happy man. about that. Tim. Maybe some umbrellas right now, but you know what? <laughs> yeah. After tonight and tomorrow, we're going to be okay tomorrow. I think so, you guys. You know, it's funny. I think those kids want a snow day, right? What better chance to just kind of put your own mark on what might eventually, eventually be bringing you a snow day. We're far from that right now. Let me show you what I'm expecting over the next seven days. Of course, the busiest travel days probably tomorrow. Maybe you don't have too far to go. You're going to wait until Thursday. Doesn't matter. Weather should be fine either way. And for the trip home, if you're kind of making your way back into the triad areas, here's what you'll be missing Friday and then for Saturday and Sunday. It's just a temperature forecast. I'll be honest with you. There's not really a lot going on weather wise with storm systems moving in or out. Just some dry cold fronts. So the overall temperature trend warm tomorrow, cold on Thursday, back up on the upside Friday, Saturday, back down we go and then back up we go. I feel like I've had this seven day forecast for the last couple of weeks, just these ups and downs without too much in the way of rain. Here's the Really detailed look at the next couple of days. Tomorrow's high 59, dry for travel, sunny, warm, a little breezy if we're being picky about tomorrow. Thanksgiving Day itself, it will be cooling down, morning lows around freezing, and in the afternoon, it's going to be tough to get out of the 40s. I think a lot of us will be stuck in the upper 40s for those high temperatures. Right now, it's fairly mild compared to this time yesterday. Remember, we had those colder nights. Our temperature change right now is about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. Already we're in the 30s in many areas, but the reason for that, notice the direction of this rain. That's moisture coming in from the south, and that's allowing us to see the cloud cover we have and also some of those rain showers that we have right now across parts of the Piedmont, kind of just making their way from Charlotte up into the Greensboro, Winston-Salem area. These are all just spotty showers. A couple of them could put down some moderate rain, but that's about it. There's a cold front lurking up here. That's eventually, you see it there with the blue line, that's what's going to deliver that cooler air for Thanksgiving. Now the front makes it through tomorrow, but we'll still have that warm air lingering on through the daylight hours. But once it gets dark tomorrow night, and again, it's dry all day long tomorrow, we'll see that colder air seeping in. So we'll be around freezing for Thanksgiving morning and cool for the afternoon. Very crisp. If you open up the windows, the kitchen's too hot. It'll cool it down pretty fast because of that outdoor air is quite chilly. Now again, the travel forecast that I was mentioning, the only real trouble spots tomorrow might be the upstate central New York region with some snow up into New England. Boston could be a little bit wet tomorrow, but other than that, it's looking pretty great from the eastern two thirds of the country. Thanksgiving Day, if you're waiting until then, no problems anywhere that I can see except for maybe a little bit of rain down in Florida, and that shouldn't be anything to really cause any delay. So you're in good shape no matter where you're headed uh, overnight tonight a couple scattered showers that's mainly just through about 4 and 5 a.m watch out for a little patchy fog though i think that could be forming for tomorrow morning once the fog goes away we will be high and dry a lot of sun a bit of a breeze and we're doing okay with those temperatures in the upper 50s thursday thanksgiving hurry up come on it's a little cooler with those highs, as we mentioned, and warmer after that. Still dry heading into the extended weekend. Black Friday shoppers, you're waiting in line about 33 degrees for Friday morning, and we'll have another big cool down heading into Sunday and Monday. It's going to be tough for us to get out of the 40s either of those days. Overnight lows, they'll be right around the freezing mark. All right, tonight in sports, we're talking fantasy football. I'll recap my week and see how your teams did, and we'll meet the lucky charm for Wake Forest soccer. Hear the story of young Asher McGarra after the break. News 2 at 11 Weather Garden, sponsored by Flow Lexus of Winston-Salem and Flow Lexus of Greensboro. Experience amazing. Is this for me? No. Let out your inner child at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2017 RX 350 for $399 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Today, we're out here to test people's knowledge about type 2 diabetes. So you have type 2 diabetes? Yes, I do. True or false? Type 2 diabetes more than doubles your chance of dying from a cardiovascular event like a heart attack or a stroke. That can't be true, can it? Actually, it is true. And with heart disease, your risk is even higher. 
In fact, cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death for adults with type 2 diabetes and heart disease. But there is good news. Jardians is the only type 2 diabetes pill with a life-saving cardiovascular benefit. Jardians has proven to both significantly reduce the chance of dying from a cardiovascular event in adults who have type 2 diabetes and heart disease and lower your A1C. That's good to know. Jardians can cause serious side effects, including dehydration. This may cause you to feel dizzy, faint, or lightheaded, or weak upon standing. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, tiredness, and trouble breathing. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of ketoacidosis or an allergic reaction. Symptoms of an allergic reaction include rash, swelling, and difficulty breathing or swallowing. Do not take Jardians if you are on dialysis or have severe kidney problems. Other side effects are sudden kidney problems, genital yeast infections, increased bad cholesterol, and urinary tract infections, which may be serious. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take and if you have any medical conditions. Isn't it time to talk to your doctor about Jardians? Absolutely. Ask your doctor about Jardians and get to the heart of what matters. Oh, golly. I can't work the remote with these stick hands. Now, now, Mr. Snowman. Dish has something for this. Alexa, search for Christmas movies. Wow! Alexa, play Elf. Whee! <laughs> I'd hug you. If my arms had elbows. Thanks, Mulch Listener! And that's how Dish saved Christmas. Enjoy hands-free TV. Dish, tuned in to you. Well, the Wake Forest men's soccer team is number one in the nation, and they're looking to play in the national championship for the second year in a row. But all their success on the field could be credited to a lucky charm. His name is Asher, and his story brings the Demon Deacons, and hopefully you, plenty of joy. Asher, you and Jeffrey work together, okay? There's just something special about soccer for 11-year-old Asher McGarrow. It's always going to be fun, and it's hard, and you, that's what you expect, and you got to play hard to win. Asher, wide, wide, wide. Asher knows what it means to play hard, and not just when it comes to sports. He's been battling chronic myeloid leukemia for most of his life. It's been a tough fight. Asher, good hustle, keep it up. So sports weren't always in the cards for Asher, that is, until his family got connected with Team Impact. It's a sports organization for kids battling life-threatening or chronic illnesses. And in August, Team Impact gave Asher the chance of a lifetime. He got to sign on as a member of the Wake Forest University soccer team. I was speechless. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Now he spends practices and home games with one of the nation's top soccer programs. I enjoy like talking with the players and passing around and seeing how they practice and do their stuff. It's like he's gotten 28 more older brothers. They treat him so amazing and I love watching him with the guys. Uh, we've been blessed to see Asher almost every day. Um, always upbeat, always in a good mood. Uh, he brings a, a certain life that is needed around here sometimes after hard days of school. He's actually a really cool kid. He's uh, funny and he loves the game as well. So. It, um, especially with our culture where we're like a family, I think it's a great fit for him to be in here with us. Now that he's healthy enough to play, Asher's taking what he learns with the Demon Deacons and applying it to his own game. It's awesome. I mean, I never thought that Asher would be able to go out and play sports. There was always something that was holding us back or holding him back. Um, so to see him now loving something so much and then being excited and going out, waking up early on a Saturday morning, it means a lot. But from all he's learned from these college soccer players, he's given just as much back to them. Sometimes we think we're, we're having a bad time and what he's been fighting since he's been four is, uh, is pretty incredible. He just brings such a different element um, for us. It makes us, uh, when we're on the field, just kind of feel like we're fighting for something that's greater than just like soccer, you know? And for all Asher's been through, the chance to play soccer with his new extended family is priceless. I just get to forget it and enjoy soccer and play with them, laugh, talk to them. Well, Wake Forest is still playing in this year's NCAA tournament. They host Butler in the Sweet 16 this Sunday, and you know they'll have Asher's full support. All right, now it's time to talk fantasy football. This here is right or wrong, and to be completely honest with you, I'd rather pretend last week didn't happen. Just take a look at this. I played my friend Ben this week, and 
As you can see, it didn't go well. It lost by 53 points, but he also fell out of first place. It hurts, I tell you what. I've got a lot of players to blame this week. There's Patriots running back James White, who scored one point. I picked up zero points from the Seahawks defense, and Eagles kicker Jake Elliott finished with negative three. Literally can't get worse than that. Over on my Facebook page, Ben wanted to remind me, the opponent this week, that he would have beaten me no matter who I put in the lineup, so really it didn't matter. Thanks a lot, Ben. All I've got to say is the playoffs, they're all that matter. All right, as for everyone else, good luck to your teams this week and tune in next Tuesday to see who got it right or wrong. I love you so much. We're going to be best friends forever. We're going to go everywhere together and see everything. You know that GX is both of ours, right? Don't listen to him. Oh. Let out your inner child at the Lexus December to Remember sales event. Lease the 2018 ES350 for $319 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Right now, during the Rooms to Go holiday sale, buying beautiful new furniture is easier than ever, thanks to our 60-month interest-free finance offer. And here's the best part. There's no minimum purchase. Buy whatever you want, a room, a single piece, whatever, and make 60 low interest free monthly payments. So hurry in, check out our exceptional selection of living rooms, dining rooms, and bedrooms, get great value, save big, and get 60 month interest free financing right now during the Rooms to Go holiday sale. Belk's Black Friday sale is almost here. Over 400 doorbusters starting Thursday at 4. We're giving away a million dollars in gift cards with a thousand dollar winner per store. Friday, there's another million dollar giveaway. You could win up to $250. Buy one, get two free Kim Rogers. Up to 60% off toys. $19.99 Rampage shoes. New Estee Lauder holiday gift set. Plus earn $15 Belk bucks. Shop early online. Go home for the holidays with Belk. It's Toyotathon time at Rice Toyota, which means thousands in savings and 0% financing on almost our entire selection of Toyotas. And with the Rice Advantage, every sale comes with a lifetime limited powertrain warranty, plus our above and beyond service that includes car washes, loaner cars, and valuable rewards points. Toyotathon savings for the best deals and our Rice Advantage for VIP service after the sale. It all adds up to the perfect time to buy right now at Rice Toyota. To those with diabetes, mealtime is really time to think about insulin. When do I prepare? Where do I inject? But Afrezza lets you inhale your insulin when food arrives, even unexpectedly. So you can be spontaneous and not rely solely on injections. Afrezza is a rapid-acting inhaled insulin used to control adult diabetes. Afrezza can cause serious side effects, including sudden lung problems and low potassium. Afrezza is not for patients with chronic lung disease, such as asthma or COPD. Tell your doctor if you smoke, recently stopped smoking, have ever had kidney or liver problems, a history of lung cancer, or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Most common side effects are low blood sugar, cough, and sore throat. Severe low blood sugar can be fatal. Do not replace long-acting insulin with Afrezza. Afrezza is not for use to treat diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not take Afrezza if you are allergic to insulin. Get some dessert. Talk to your doctor before changing your Afrezza dose. Blood sugar may need to be checked more frequently. Ask your doctor if Afrezza inhalable insulin is right for you. The year in sales event is on now at Stearns Ford. Save up to 12 grand off new F-150s in stock. 0% for 72 is available. And get $1,000 year-end event special bonus cash. Expect more. more. Get more. 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 Stearns Ford. See this stocking? It wants to be filled with holiday magic, but needs your help. Pick up a stocking at one of these locations. Fill it up and return it where you got it. Holiday magic made simple. Brought to you by WFMY News 2 and these sponsors. I need a focus. I keep thinking about Thanksgiving meals. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Focus. We were just talking about stuffing, uh, cranberry sauce. The sweet potatoes. All the good sweet stuff. Potatoes. I'm already in the food coma. I've never I've been, been eating yet. I've yeah. never been more excited about ingesting 3,000 <laughs> calories. Wow. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the meal? All of it. <laughs> the beginning. The beginning. Because you're, you're not full yet. Because you're not full yet, and you can like munch on all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know how it is at the end? Like, yeah. I shouldn't have oh, done yeah. that. My favorite is sneaking a piece of turkey before anyone else does, like uh -huh. right off the bird. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wasn't Don't look, me? Mom. Don't look. Real quick, let's flash you the seven day here. Lots of sunshine, lots of still turbulence with the ups and downs in the temperatures. Tomorrow's an up, the day after Thanksgiving, it's a down.
down into the 50s. But I don't see any rain out there. No rain. That'll be good. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night. Good night. Discover an easier, faster, better way to buy at Flo Buick GMZ, where upfront transparent pricing is our standard. Drive the 2017 Acadia for $38,699. Drive the 2018 Sierra for $43,399. Save up to $11,000 off MSRP on select 2017 Yukon and Yukon XL models. Plus, get 0% APR for 72 months. Visit Flo Buick GMC Winston-Salem.com or Flo Buick GMC Greensboro.com today while selection is at its best. Flo Buick GMC, the Triad Buick GMC volume leader. Now's the time to give the gift of tradition and save at Field & Stream, where you'll find great deals even before Black Friday, like 25% off all regular price Hornady Centerfire, Big Game, and Slug ammo. Save on Remington Gun Club shot shells and save $300 on the Field & Stream Sportsman Gun Safe. Get up to $50 in Field & Stream cash when you buy Yeti. And with our best price guarantee, if you find a lower price somewhere else, we'll match it. Where traditions begin, Field & Stream. It's Toyotathon time at Rice Toyota, which means thousands in savings and 0% financing on almost our entire selection of Toyotas. And with the Rice Advantage, every sale comes with a lifetime limited powertrain warranty, plus our above and beyond service that includes car washes, loaner cars, and valuable rewards points. Toyotathon savings for the best deals and our Rice Advantage for VIP service after the sale. It all adds up to the perfect time to buy right now at Rice Toyota. Tim Buckley.